శ్రీమతి జయ బచ్చన్ జీ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ ఐ థింక్ ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ బిల్ అండ్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు ఆస్క్ అ ఫ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ టు ది మినిస్టర్ what was the criteria behind selecting these places cities. these cities i am aware the, i know the minister will quote the national design policy of 2017 for promoting backward states but why are the states places which are traditionally culturally vibrant not being considered these places have the potential to produce masters and now sir with the recent development kashmir is a wonderful place for you to have an id <laughs> sir the best example for something like this is shanti niketan which was started by rabindranath tagore but unfortunately it is in a very very bad condition at the moment i think faculty is a big problem as jairam ji already said that is one of the most important things before we start opening up these grand institution is to first find the <coughs> faculty if we don't have good faculty i don't know whether we'll be able to produce good children good students second is government interference i think government interference in these kind of institutions always create a problem because the minute the government starts handling these institutions they bring in bureaucracy which gets involved in the system of working which is not healthy for any institute i give you the example of ftii i am a student of film and television institute of india it used to be when i was there it was only film institute of india specifically then the government decided that they need to milk that institution they brought in television total chaos the environment was ruined ugly buildings came up and these things have terrible effect on creative minds it was after that there were protests because then you know the the head of the insti- institute was brought in a bureaucrat who necessarily didn't have a artistic inclina- inclination caused a lot of problems and you are aware i jabrikar ji is not here but he would know that there have been so many problems in the film institute so i would really request you to see that government does not interfere too much in it how will you sir bridge the disconnect between the academics and the practices you are educating children you are educating young students you are influencing young minds but when they come out of the institute and they innovate products they design products how are you going to provide for them to market what they design now we have we have no indian branding for any of our designs of course except yoga and some herbal medicines which are being hijacked by other countries unfortunately there is no control over these designs some rubbish stuff is also getting sold in the name of herbal or yoga of all kinds of things i have started but you have so many countries you have the example of germany italy france i mean in numberable countries sweden so many countries even china today in the automobile section yeah, has you have to conclude you so have to conclude abhi hai please sir you will have to give me that time you interrupted me now yeah time was <laughs> uh, 3 minutes but i sir, i i am very much abhi impressed abhi utna samay nikal gaya na chaliye they have mastered now they have improved their technology and they are exporting machinery for automobiles it's something that we have to think about we are the largest buyers in the world and we have no patenting we have so many years only patented uh, i told you yoga ultimately who are we training these students for 
and what are we training the students for? What is the incentive for these people? And sir, I'd like you to define design education becomes socially inclusive and addresses the needs of design in various sectors including agriculture, healthcare and transport. Please. Thank you very much. Please.